Many of us remember a time when every household had a sewing machine and people knew how to use them. Well, guess what? It's all coming back again, as things do. And the fiber arts of sewing and knitting and quilting and all that are catching on again with a new generation. Well, Leanne Stropes has taken that trend and turned it into a new business in Orion. Leanne is the owner of Betty's Thimble Quilt Shop. Leanne, hi, how are you? Hi, good, how are you doing? I'm doing great, there you are in your store. You haven't been open too long. How, when did you open up? Uh, we opened July 26th was our first day. Oh my goodness, so now uh, you, you chose Orion because that's your, uh, that's your area, that's your hometown, it, right? It's my hometown, I graduated from Orion High and um, yeah, my family's been here and my husband's family's been here for a few generations. That so. is so cool. You know, there, uh, I really love that when I hear about people who grew up in an area and have all that generational history uh, making a business in their hometown. That if, if everybody did that, every hometown would be thriving, right? I think so, yeah. It's a really neat town. It's um, it's just great to to actually find a building that I was able to do it in. So Yeah, good. Well, let's talk about what you're doing there. Nothing else like it in town, I'm assuming. No. <laughs> it's the first <laughs> right. shop in town, yes. Yeah, so, it, so your title is Betty's Thimble Quilt Shop. So let's break that down. First of all, who's Betty? So I, I struggled over the name, um, but it came to me in the middle of the night, uh, Betty Stimble. Um, my grandmother uh, on my mom's side is Betty. Uh, she was not a quilter, but she was an avid sewer. She used to sew her all, all of her own clothes, um, and she was known for wearing a thimble most, most days. She always had a thimble um, on her finger or nearby in her apron or whatever. She used to use it... Uh, if some of us kids got mouthy, <laughs> we used to get a little plunk on the you, head. Well, no, wait a minute. Th 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 <laughs> a thimble as a weapon. Okay, I get it. Yeah, it was more, yeah. Or, or yeah. a disciplinary instrument thimble. is what I mean, yes. Yes, I didn't, I didn't, I knew better, so I, I was never one of the um, persons getting thunked, but. Oh, I, oh I my goodness. Was. Well, I wasn't expecting that story. I thought that she just used her thimble for <laughs> she, sewing. She was a beautiful, wonderful woman that was very, she loved every, every animal and every person, but she, oh, I got she knew it. how to keep us in line. Well, we're um, a few shots back. We uh, we showed that picture. It was uh, the shadow box. Of, is that your yes. is that your grandma Betty then in that picture? Yes. It yeah. Is. Okay. And all of our sewing, uh, or many of our sewing things that were in our sewing basket. Well, we're looking at all this great stuff that you have. You have bolts and bolts of fabric. I mean, you don't have to be a quilter to find what uh, you supply there, Leanne. Explain what uh, what you have. So we have quilting cotton, 100% quilting cotton, and of course you can use it for multiple crafts. Um, we have notions, so rulers, um, threads. Um, we are going to get into some classes that may not necessarily need be quilting classes, so we'll get some painting in here eventually and just some fun things for, for women to get together. And that was kind of my purpose of the shop. Um, I was a stay-at-home mom for many years. This is basically my first job okay. <laughs> my husband owns a small business and I did his books um so and we had a home office so I worked out of my home for many years um for 23 years and uh my kids are grown and uh, my last one went to college this year and so um I decided that I wanted to do something outside of the home I still do his book work but I wanted to do something for me and something that I enjoyed but also bring women together because I think especially after COVID, it kind of just, we all kind of split apart. Um, and I think women just need, and not necessarily women, I, there are several men quilters, um, but I think we needed to get together and, yeah. um, and fellowship together and That's learn good. things from each other. And I, and this was kind of my main purpose in opening the shop, but also to get kids interested in sewing. Um, so a lot of what I do kind of, you'll see the quilt behind me is mm -hmm. going to be a little modern, um, not everything. I like the the um, the quilts that are that are traditional, but um, I wanted to get kids interested or young adults interested in quilting to say that it's not just your grandmother's, you know, thing to do. Yeah, it's um, so that, true. They're they're works of art, and yes, uh, they and are. It seems to be something addictive because I anybody I've ever <laughs> known who started it, they can't ever quit. No, it's yeah, it's it is fairly addictive. I uh, during COVID especially, I I made. I think I was up to like 15 quilts oh that year. Oh my, wowee. Um, yeah, and of course my girls, I have um, older, 23-year-old uh, girls that uh, 
that kind of stole a lot of them, but you know, oh, I wouldn't okay. get one done before they would go, can I have that one? So, um, and then I well, gave them away. I gave a lot of them away. Well, Leanne, I, I, obviously you're, you're fulfilling a need uh, that's really uh, quite strong there in Orion and, and congrats on that. So we're putting up the info for you. Uh, Fourth, okay. Str Fourth Street Orion, is that in, in your big yes. downtown? Yeah, that's, that's in our, <laughs> what we like to call our Main Street. Uh -huh. We're hoping to revive that a little bit, but we, um, yes, it's called Main Street or Fourth Street. Well, that really sounds good, too, and I think that I'm glad you came on today for Shop and Support Local Week. And um, Thank you. So, so all the best as we get into, you know, the, the holiday season here soon, and I think it'll be a, a really hot place, and you'll do well. Yeah, we have a lot of classes coming up for beginner sewers and um, novice, so, yeah, we're... Uh, we're really excited about that. So, yeah, if they go on my website, they'll see the different classes. Great. Okay. Uh, thanks. Leanne Stropes joining us today from uh, Betty's Thimble Quilt Shop in Orion. Thanks, Leanne. Bye now. Thank you.